Hello, my dear students. Uh, my name is Prachi. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Let's learn together. So I have a whole series coming up for ICSC uh, Chemistry, tenth grade, and uh, today we'll be starting with some important questions of hydrogen chloride. So let's get into the video. So students, I hope you can see my screen now. So when you start with this video, make sure that you have read the chapter at least once. If not, so as I'm uploading more uh, more videos, you can uh, check out the entire playlist. and hydrogen chloride would be soon covered but when you start with this particular video make sure that you have at least done that chapter once like you have read it from the book at least so these are some important questions to start with so the first question is give reason for the following hydrogen chloride gas cannot be dried over quick lime so as we know quick lime is a good drying agent but why can't we dry hydrogen chloride gas over it because they both end up reacting with each other what is a quick lime that is calcium oxide cao and if that ends up reacting with hydrogen chloride gas what do we get instead of drying it out it ends up reacting and it gives us cao plus hcl gives cacl2 that is cal uh, calcium chloride plus water so if the reaction happened of course we understand that it cannot be used to dry hydrogen chloride gas now the next question name the gas evolved by the action of concentrated sulfuric acid on sodium chloride now if you have just read the chapter you would say that okay i know that this is hydrogen chloride gas and uh, since we are doing that chapter we would know it's hydrogen chloride gas but when you do it in the exams you have done so many gases and so many lab preparations that this uh, you should know by uh, looking at the reaction for it so for now we are just going with the answer that it is hydrogen chloride gas now i would never suggest writing just hcl in the answer because that is not acceptable by board so whatever one word answers whatever answers you have uh, always go for the entire name of the compound and in the bracket you can mention the formula if you write just the formula you would lose marks on that now next is the lab preparation for hydrochloric acid the following questions are related to the lab preparation of hydrochloric acid name the reactants used so what are the reactants we can look at second question and we know that the reactants are your um, concentrated sulfuric acid and sodium chloride so we are going to just put that here concentrated sulfuric acid and sodium chloride nacl again do not write the formulas i am just writing the formulas here give suitable reason for choosing these reactants so If you think about NaCl, now NaCl is first of all cheap, and it is easily available. Therefore, we are using NaCl. Why concentrated H two S O four? Because it is the least volatile acid. So we are looking for a, a least volatile acid, and we are looking for something which is cheap and easily available. So these are the two reactants that we use for the preparation of hydrochloric acid in a lab. now write balanced chemical equation write balanced chemical equation for the reaction taking place below 200 degrees celsius now why do we specifically say below 200 degrees celsius because the same reaction can happen above 200 degrees celsius and we'll look at that also so let's start with why take it below 200 degrees celsius so you have h2so4 plus nacl this is below 200 degree celsius you end up getting nahso4 what is nahso4 it is sodium bisulfate plus hcl so this is the reaction that we generally use in the lab now if they end up asking what happens in this reaction if it is above 200 degree celsius so the same reaction can happen so h2so4 plus nacl it is above 200 degree celsius you would still end up getting hcl but what will you get as the other compound or other product that would be na2so4 that is sodium sulfate but we do not prefer the second reaction in the labs and that question is right there as the fourth part why the temperature of the reaction must be maintained below 200 degree celsius the reason is that the sodium sulfate that you just got that is what na2so4 the sodium sulfate compound that you just got 
first of all it is a very sticky substance so when the products are being formed it ends up sticking on the glass apparatus and uh, it spoils the apparatus because once the reaction is done it is not easy to uh, clean up the apparatus and hence it uh, destroys the apparatus so this destroys the glass apparatus used for the reaction the second reason for not using this temperature is that it is a very difficult to use so much fuel like when you're supposed to maintain something at 200 degree above 200 degree celsius you need to use a lot more fuel although you still need hcl gas which you can get at below 200 degree celsius so why waste so much fuel so wastage of fuel okay moving on to question number 4 why hydrogen uh, chloride not collected over water so it is highly soluble in water hence we cannot uh, collect it over water so the reason would be highly soluble in water now name the following two compounds of lead which combine with concentrated hcl to liberate chlorine so the two compounds so this comes after you have understood the uh, preparation of uh, hydrochloric acid then you have the reaction of hydrochloric acid with a lot of compounds so this is one of those like this question is from that area of the chapter so the two leads that you have is your uh, lead dioxide and red lead since they are asking just the names so you can go for lead dioxide and red lead but i would still tell you what is the equation so you have better understanding of that so lead dioxide is pb pbo2 with hcl what will that give us that will give us pbcl2 plus water plus chlorine so that's the chlorine gas right there now i'm not balancing it out right now balancing is your homework uh you can comment in the comment section if there is any balancing for any equation that you can't understand i'll help you in the comment section now the next one is red lead what is red lead red lead is pb3o4 so pb3o4 plus hcl and this gives us the exact same products that we just got so that would be pbcl2 plus water plus chlorine so two compounds of lead which combine with concentrated hcl to liberate chlorine is lead dioxide and red lead and both of the reactions happen because of heat so you can mention heat with that now the next question is solvent for noble metals now the solvent for noble metals is aqua regia you can simply just mention the name aqua regia but what is aqua regia it is three parts of concentrated hcl and one part of nitric acid so 3 is to 1 ratio of concentrated hcl and nitric acid now drying agent for hydrogen chloride gas pretty simple it's concentrated sulfuric acid concentrated sulfuric acid okay let's move on the experiment which demonstrate extreme solubility of hydrogen chloride gas is fountain experiment when we are when uh, i upload the uh, video for uh, hydrogen chloride i'll specifically mention that uh, video over here in the description box below in which we would be discussing the details of fountain experiment so for now the experiment which is used to demonstrate extreme solubility of hydrogen chloride gas is fountain experiment now moving on to e part name the arrangement used for the prevention of back suction of water during the dis uh, dissolution of hydrogen uh, chloride gas in water so that is your uh, inverted funnel arrangement so the inverted funnel arrangement looks something like this you have the funnel and then you have it like this we would be doing the more details on this so for now let's just go with the answer that the answer is inverted funnel arrangement
Now, question number six. Write a balanced chemical equation for action of hydrochloric acid on sodium bicarbonate. What is sodium bicarbonate? It is NaHCO3. So, NaHCO3 plus hydrochloric acid plus HCl. What will that give us? It will give us carbon dioxide plus water plus NaCl. So, NaCl plus water plus carbon dioxide. Now again, I am not balancing the equations. If you face any problems with the balancing or you can't understand it, make sure you mention that in the comments section below. Okay, students, then move, let's move on to the last question for the day. Question number seven. Now name the gas evolved when hydrochloric acid is added to the following compounds. Okay, so uh, we won't go in the detail of the equation right now. We'll just write the formulas for these compounds and from that we'll figure out what gas is being evolved. Um, for your help, at the end when I upload this file as in the description box as notes, I'll mention these equations right after this question. So if you have any doubts other than that, let me know. Now magnesium. So if I have magnesium plus HCl, of course we understand it would give us hydrogen gas. Second is calcium bicarbonate. What is calcium bicarbonate? Calcium CaHCO3 whole twice. So you have a carbonate, you have CO3. So we understand what will that give us? It will give us carbon dioxide gas. So the answer is CO2 gas. Sodium bicarbonate. Okay, again we have a carbonate. So this will also give you carbon dioxide gas. Sodium sulfide. So if you have sulfide, what is the formula for that? It is Na2SO3. So that will give up sodium dioxide gas. Then you have iron sulfide, IDE, that is FES. So FES, when it combines with HCl, will end up giving us H2S gas. What is H2S gas? That is hydrogen sulfide gas. Manganese oxide, and that is the second, manganese 2 oxide. That means MnO2, MnO2 plus HCl will end up giving us chlorine gas in the byproducts. Then sodium thiosulfate. What is sodium thiosulfate? It is Na2S2O3 plus HCl. What gas will that give us? It will give us SO2. Okay. But one thing to know about sodium thiosulfate reaction with HCl is that it will also give you one precipitate, what that is sulfur. So that is one difference between all the other sulfide sulfate reactions with HCl and sodium thiosulfates. So thiosulfates react and give you a particular precipitate after the reaction. So that is S in this case. So SO2 becomes your gas, that is the answer for this question. But you can also write that it will also give you sulfur as a precipitate. Now these are all the important questions that I had to cover for today. I will be sharing this file with you guys in the description box. I'll mention the entire file with the equations for the seventh question. Thank you so much for um, all your love and support. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Eventually we would be moving on to the entire chapter of hydrogen chloride and all the other chapters of chemistry. If you would like me to cover anything specific or any particular chapter in specific, please do mention that in the comment section.